All right, guys, we are at Menards right now. I just finished filming the inflatables. You guys have already seen that video, but they have a whole bunch of these character blow molds as well as some other decor that I wanted to show you, but I wanted to do it in a different video just because if anybody wants to come back and specifically find inflatables, I'm not just putting out one big Christmas at Menards video, but these are really cool here. Like, look at the one on the end here. We got a 43-inch Santa. Now, if you don't really know what a... a blow mold is it's basically just these big plastic hollow decorations right here that have a light in the back some of these older ones by empire and some other brands from like the 70s and that they go for a lot of money on ebay and if you look on ebay right now you can find a bunch of different styles of the santa blow mold they're pretty cool but they take up a lot of space when you're trying to store them in a garage or something down here they have this big 40 inch snowman and this one is all also modeled after one from like the 70s it's pretty cool but again they just take up so much space if you're trying to store them we got a ch the child blow mold the mandalorian we have mickey and minnie there's always mickey and minnie blow molds and then of course we have a lighted rudolph here which is actually pretty cool i believe i saw some other ones around here so we're gonna keep looking but i wanted to show you this kind of stuff here too the three pack light up snowman family these are actually pretty cool i don't know if it's something that i would actually buy although i don't know as i say that i look at them here and i go man those are actually pretty dang cool 149.99 and you actually do get all three of these snowmen now the cool thing about these is they're a little bit easier to store because as we go around the side here you can see where he's hollow so oh his hat fell off <laughs> So like she will fit in the back of him and then the small one will fit in the back of both of them So they're a little bit easier to store than the blow molds over here You can see we have some presents and these actually look pretty cool I think the more I see these the more I like them look at this little 3d cactus It's a tinsel cactus. The only thing he's missing is a friendly face. We got the Yukon Cornelius over here from the Rudolph movie. And then we have a 60 inch LED angel with horn. She looks pretty cool actually. If you look on eBay right now you can find blow molds of angels with horns and even like nutcrackers and stuff like that. Now back here there's a whole bunch of stuff on top of this rack. And look at this. It spans all the way from down there all the way to down here. And as I come down here, I notice that there are some, oh, okay, these are, the, these are just the boxes from the inflatables that they have on display. I thought maybe it was some more that I actually missed. But yeah, here's a couple more uh, blow molds here. We have, uh, you know, this guy here, <laughs> Mickey and Minnie. And then we have a Santa here. We have a little nutcracker, and on the bottom we have the Grinch. I believe this is the same Grinch blow mold you can get at Big Lots right now. I'm not sure how the price is different. These are $39.99 here, so they might even be cheaper at Big Lots. I'm just not sure. But we have more snowmen here, and then look at this. We have candy canes over here. All right, let's go down and see what's on this side. Oh, look at this. We have a... Clarice and a Rudolph, both from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer show. They have Hermie, look at that, that's hilarious. And then they have Sam the Snowman here. There's a bigger Rudolph down here on the bottom, as well as the angel with a horn, a giant snowflake over here. We have a two-foot lighted dog over here. And you can see Sam and Hermie. Oh, they got Bumble up here. I don't see him down here anyway. He must be sold out. But they also have Clarice, and she's just sitting there very small at the end. Hello, Clarice. Five-foot lighted nutcracker down here. Let's see, what else? We have a 60-inch deer family. These are actually pretty cool. I think I would buy something like that. 67-inch elegant buck. <laughs> then we have a four-foot 11 standing buck. A 51 and a half inch standing buck. And, oh, another 51 and a half inch standing buck. And then we have a 35 inch doe here. Iridescent deer family down here on the bottom. And what's this over here? 59 inch lighted standing buck. Yeah, that's a different one from what we were looking at a minute ago. And then there's a 52 inch buck beside him. And if I stand back here, you can see that some of these things are on top. There's that iridescent uh, deer family over there. 
There's a lighted moose, a lighted flamingo, a pre-lit squirrel family. That one's pretty funny. A little slim LED gnome and a misfit elephant. Oh my gosh, I love that. That also goes along with these guys down here from the Rudolph movie. And look at this one up here. It's called a 52 inch pre-lit flocking buck. Okay, we got a four foot LED snowman here, some lighted gift boxes. Uh, let's see, a little 26 inch snowman, 48 inch iridescent snowman, and he's actually up there as well. And you can see him much better if I stand back here. Pretty cool actually, he kind of looks like shimmering diamonds. 43 and a half inch collapsible lighted snowman there, a four foot lighted s silver tinsel snowman that's a tongue twister and then again they have mickey and minnie blow molds here on the end Ooh, they have the big red truck here 30 inches wide 19 and a half inches high i actually wish they had that set up looks like there's a couple more things down here we might want to see the three piece lighted stake signs some jolly snowmen there we have some candy cane path markers here lighted tree stakes Ooh, peanuts light or i don't know if these are lighted yeah lighted holiday decor pathway markers they're skating and then they also have the lighted rudolph pathway markers and here's the big santa blow molds again he's 43 inches tall and if we tap on him you can hear how he's just hollow plastic. If you remember on Christmas vacation when Clark gets mad and he kicks the Santa and the reindeer, those are actually blow molds like these. And then there's a couple more things on the end here. You know, some people have a lot of room to decorate, some people don't, and all they have is like space to put things on their walls. That's where things like this come in because they're flat and they just hang on the wall. We have a flat-tastic Olaf, a sparkle diamond angel, we have a LED camper up there and the red truck. Here's the camper right here, 32 inches. And the LED truck is a 36 inch farm truck. That's cool. 28 inch LED Christmas neon tree. And then we got the lighted Christmas train here. That's 36 inches long too. And a 40 inch wreath on the bottom. Oh, there's even some more of these neon looking ones over here. So we have the ringing bells in the lighted nativity that's pretty cool we have a snowman here happy holidays here's our red truck with the tree in the back a couple of ornaments here some snowflakes and a lighted north pole sign and a lighted merry christmas sign those are pretty cool i like those oh here's a better look at the rudolph blow mold down here he actually has a gift at his feet. That's pretty cool. And here's a couple more set up over here so you can see what they would look like if they were outside in your front yard in the snow with a snowman here. We got the little penguin. Have we seen the penguin? Look at that happy little guy. <laughs> and of course the Santa. So that looks like it's pretty much it for the blow molds and the lighted characters, but they had some pretty cool ones in here.